If you're into home automation and you're looking for the case, you probably want to watch this. Hey, not every Raspberry Pi needs a fancy case like this Argon One M.2, which I talked about in this video. Uh, that was my, I think, last video. But if you are into home automation and you are looking for a decent and interesting case, I've got these. Yes, I know they might not seem that impressive at first, but stick with me, especially if you're into home automation, because you might get interested. Lipmatic sent me the latest Matic Box 4 cases for Raspberry Pi 4, which are available in white and black, which is actually kind of hard to showcase in here. And they're kind of interesting because apart from the standard protection from bumps and shorts that every case for Raspberry Pi 4 offers, they have some pretty interesting functionality. So what sets apart these cases from any other plastic cases that you can get on AliExpress, etc.? Well, first of all, they're not very expensive. They are about 10 dollars or 10 euros, depending on where you live. And that's itself, it's a decent argument to actually take a look. But it's not just simple case because it comes with several interesting features. These are stackable. If you ever wanted to try Raspberry Pi cluster, now you don't have to spend time and money building expensive cluster rack. You can get a couple of these and Leapmatic offers a discount for uh, purchases in bulk to create your own cluster and play about. Obviously, building clusters and making racks is fun as well, but if you just want to try it out and have your Raspberry Pi protected, that might be actually a pretty decent choice. Next unique feature is this pad. This is for DIN rails. So if you're running home automations and you want your Raspberry Pi simply to live on a DIN rail, you'll need attachment like this. It isn't just for that, it also has mounting holes, so if you're into that, you can mount it this way. But any automation fan knows that mounting stuff on DIN rails is very helpful, and this case got you covered. And let's make this tower even bigger and add the, another attachment. These cases come with two different leads. One is a flat profile lead, and another one is for fans of automation. It allows you to actually put a hat on the Raspberry Pi, depending on the hat obviously you're going to run, and also lead the wires through this gap in here. Anyone using Raspberry Pi hats knows how hard it is to find an uh, enclosure that actually accommodates for hats. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely take a look at the Matic box cases. But that's not the end of the features. Inside you're gonna find the mount for the fan. And unlike all the cases that support fun, this will also allow you to put a heatsink on top of the CPU. This is cool because you will actually need a heatsink and a fan if you're running a stack configuration. Let's talk about thermal performance because this is where the things get slightly more interesting. Now, running the Raspberry Pi at idle in a single case, it's not a problem. A heatsink is a good choice, but you will never need it. If you want to take it up a notch and run the benchmark, it's also not a problem. The Raspberry Pi 4 inside, it's not going to throttle. Situation changes, however, if we're going to stack them and run them as a stack. Without any active cooling, Raspberry Pis accumulates the heat from both the top and the bottom boards and quickly overheats and throttle down. This means if you run a cluster, you probably want to add active cooling to each stack to make sure that the Raspberry Pi 4 don't overheat inside. Putting the stack through the benchmark, I had about 60 degrees providing the fan was running at 100% speed and I had a heatsink mounted on and I would strongly recommend you to use that configuration if you're planning to run a cluster. But in a home automation scenario running Node-RED and a couple of nodes deployed, I had it idling at about 42 degrees. If I wanted to bring the temperature lower, I would have to add the heatsink itself uh, to provide the temperature range in about 38 degrees. My benchmarks were performed in a temperature of 21 degrees, so take that in consideration. 
Matic box cases aren't expensive and quite great, but there's a couple of things that I'd like to see improve. Not everyone's gonna be the fan of the industrial design. The cases don't look that interesting, however, they do make up in the utility department. Another thing that got my attention was a small gap in an I.O. panel, which looks like it really shouldn't be there. I know it's a small thing, but it really got me thinking whether I've closed the case correctly, especially when I stacked one case on top of another. I wish that was addressed. Overall, if you are looking for a case for home automation, which is going to be tucked away or mounted on a rail, Matic Box 4 is actually a pretty good choice. It's inexpensive, it provides the basic protection for your Raspberry Pi 4 board and comes with those unique features that you can take advantage uh, of in your home automation setup. So do let me know what you think about cases, I'll link them in the description of this video. I'd like to thank Leapmatics for sending me these and if you want to know more just head to our article and I'll provide you with some details. As for now guys, you probably know I don't have a posting schedule, so if you want to keep in touch, it's best to follow me on social media of your choice. You already know how it works, I'm not going to explain all that, everyone else did it for me. So, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye!